Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Anda sedang menonton SME bersama Afizi Azaman. Okey, tidak semua perniagaan dimulakan semata-mata untuk mencari keuntungan. Ada perniagaan yang dimulakan semata-mata untuk memberi kesedaran kepada rakyat Malaysia bagaimana penjagaan kesihatan. Ha, kali ini saya nak bawakan kepada anda kisah mengenai tiga orang sahabat. Mereka ni berasal daripada dunia korporat pekerjaan mereka. Tetapi mereka terjun ke dalam bidang perniagaan semata-mata dengan hasrat untuk membawa produk-produk kesihatan ke Malaysia dan menyedarkan rakyat Malaysia betapa pentingnya penjagaan kesihatan itu. Mereka ni pergi ke Taiwan, mereka lihat banyak produk-produk di sana dan mereka cuba satu persatu dan pada permulaannya mereka menggunakan kesemua keseluruhan wang simpanan mereka sebanyak 100,000 untuk pergi ke Taiwan, lihat produk-produk dan bawa balik produk itu ke Malaysia. Dan pada tahun pertama mereka pernah kerugian apabila hampir separuh daripada produk mereka tidak berjaya dijual. Dan inilah kisah-kisah kegagalan, kisah-kisah uh, bagaimana mereka terpaksa menempuh uh, dunia selok-belok perniagaan ini sebelum mereka berada pada peringkat sekarang ini. Jadi tanpa buang masa, jom kita saksikan kisah tiga orang usahawan ini. Generally, I start this whole business is because I found that there are a lot of fake items in the market, low quality in in order that low cost but they are very bad in quality. This product will actually hurt our body and hurt the nation. For example, at the moment in the whole Asia, Malaysia is the worst in diabetes. Every 5 person there's one person having diabetes. It's in an alarming rate. This is mainly due to low quality sugars, low quality honeys and etc which is very worrying. Our main motive is to provide something which is healthy and which is good for the health and will help the society back. That is a responsibility as a Malaysian that I think I should do. Sebelum mendengar kisah perniagaan mereka, kita lihat dahulu fakta mengenai penyakit kencing manis atau diabetes di negara ini dan mengapa kesedaran terhadap penyakit ini begitu dititik beratkan oleh Kyle sehingga beliau mahu membuka perniagaan untuk cuba menyelesaikan masalah tersebut. Tiada pengalaman dalam bidang perniagaan tidak mematahkan semangat mereka bertiga tetapi inisiatif untuk belajar selot belok perniagaan menjadi kekuatan. Daripada dunia korporat, terjun dalam industri ini sudah tentu beri kejutan dalam menempuh dugaan sebagai usahawan. Uh, to be very honest, lah, initially we start very small. Lah. We work in a multinational company, then we want to start to help people. So among there, a group of three of us, we started this and we pour out all of our savings to invest in this business. So it's a very challenging and tough time that we have. You're starting uh, model? Okay, uh, our model we pour in all of uh, our investment probably about uh, 100k around there to start everything, invest in the stocks and invest in our peripherals and assets and everything. Uh, we are practically very zero in this business world actually. Yes, we are in a management team inside a. Uh, MNC. So during this, uh, we have no ideas of what is business, how is marketing, and everything. This is a very shocking place for us. So we venture it. Uh, where do you learn all the business? Well, uh, we are, we read a lot, and we also try to have uh, conversations and going for courses. You know a lot of friends, a lot of people help us out during this duration. Initially, it is a very tough time at the face we have practically uh, no idea what to expect so slowly slowly we try to set our targets uh, in very very beginning actually the main jabaran is for our product we are selling this brown sugar ginger tea and brown sugar various product our main jabaran main challenges will be there are so many brands inside in malaysia i think in taiwan there are over 50 brands in malaysia probably 30 40 <laughs> Korea, Singapore, etc. Et there are so many brands. What can our brand be into people's heart? So we practically have uh, no idea and we need to find a way. So one thing that we want to share is our quality. Our quality of the products make us that we set our target in healthcare line. So we go through in healthcare pharmacies, hospitals, and etc. to promote our products. Our products are checked by dietitians, doctors, all of them have a thorough check to, in order to make sure that it is good and safe to be used inside hospital. So from there, we start to set our, our role in this market and from there we start and conquer over the challenges. 
So that is the initial. Follow up, there are a lot more different different challenges. Okay, for example, um, uh, we, we, we try to expand our business. So from there, we start with uh, practically nothing. We don't even have a, a place to put our products and everything. But today, we started up, set up, we have a store in Penang. And at the same time, we try to open up a drink store, a healthy drink one. There are a lot of drink stores in Malaysia, but as a healthy drink, a one that promotes health care, this is the first. So we want to be the first to challenge and to help the society. Next, throughout this uh, event, I actually wanted to export our products to Southeast Asia. Currently, we are only in Malaysia and Singapore, but we are very ambitious. We want to push this good thing to Southeast Asia. So we discussed with Taiwan side. We try to buy over this, uh, the copyrights and the authorizations. So this is our challenge for this year. Pernah gagal pada tahun pertama perniagaannya, apabila separuh daripada produk yang dijual mereka tidak habis dijual, tetapi kadar rakan-rakannya tidak berputus asa. Kerugian yang dialami menjadi kekuatan dan mereka bingkas bangun mencari formula seterusnya untuk pasarkan produk mereka. At first, in the first year, we meet a very big challenge. In the first batch of stock, we, when we enter, we practically cannot finish selling everything. We are too ambitious. We bring in too much and we can't really sell. 50% of our stock is actually lost because of expiry. But we don't give up. It's struggling. We try to push ourselves to the next level. But we don't want to compensate our quality for lower cost. We continue to deliver the best. So from this year, we even bring in Arabinos sugar. This is a very new technology in terms of sugar. This Arabinos is a next generation technology for diabetics. It helps to, uh, when, when you take the Arabinos, in one and two hours time, any sucrose based sugar that you take will not be absorbed by your body which is suitable for diabetes and also prevent diabetes. Era Malaysia Baharu, Kyle dan rakan-rakannya berharap agar kerajaan memperbanyakkan usaha membantu usahawan kecil dan sederhana di negara ini untuk mengembangkan lagi perniagaan mereka. Beliau turut berharap kerajaan mempelbagaikan platform perniagaan, dana serta mempromosikan sektor ekonomi e-dagang yang sekarang ini sedang berkembang pesat. I think in, in terms of SME, Malaysia is still very low compared to many countries, China and others. They are so much more advanced in helping. They provide them office and to provide them funds in order to build the SME. But I hope that if Malaysia can help that to us as well, so that when beginning, we, when we don't have even a roof to start our business, they can provide some cheap price uh, office that is presentable and they also can provide us some fun in order to help us for uh, the buying stocks and etc. And most important, I hope that they can provide us an opportunity to push our products out of to Mal outside Malaysia. Okey, ini merupakan salah satu cabang keusahawanan sosial di mana usahawan-usahawan ini melihat sesuatu masalah di negara ini dan mereka cuba menyelesaikan satu masalah itu melalui perniagaan dan mereka tidak mementingkan keuntungan semata-mata tetapi melihat bagaimana mereka dapat menyelesaikan sesuatu masalah itu. Dan inilah kisah-kisah inspirasi yang harus kita contohi. Harus rakyat Malaysia nilaikan apakah sekurang-kurangnya sumbangan yang mampu kita berikan kepada negara ini. Dan saya kira setakat itu saja eh, pada episod kali ini sehingga kita bertemu lagi pada episod seterusnya SME bersama Afizia Zaman. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera.